Hey everybody, it's Kevin Flying Smart Productions here for the Origin Easter Egg. We're trying to do it on solo. It was really hard. It took me a long time to do it. it took me about 8 million attempts. There was attempts where I got to the last step and died. And it's a real mood killer and it's just ridiculous. So we're going to show you how to do it. Very easy, very fast, very efficient. So you can get it done. And you can brag to all your friends and never have to think about how you didn't do it for that long. Here's some requirements. All six generators need to be active. One inch punch, I'll show you how to get that. And optional would be ray gun mark one or two. Makes the panzer zombie very easy to get rid of. And mule kick so you can hold two good guns and a staff. Step one is filling the chest and grabbing the stone. People usually say that you should do this like the fifth, like after you build the staffs, but this makes that whole part easier. Um, quick side note here, if you're going to do this, make sure you get a ray gun of some sort. This is just a suggestion, you don't have to do this, but get a ray gun, either Mark 1 or Mark 2, before round 5. So just keep going in the box, because if you don't have that, you're not going to have enough firepower to defend yourself against zombies and the Panzer zombie. So you're going to want to get that, and you're also going to want to have... Um, a s decent team. secondary that will build points and also that has enough firepower to protect you. Because you're going to be running in a circle for these chests. Now the chest locations, I'm not going to show you, I'm just going to tell you, it's really easy to find. There's one on the left side of Stamina Up coming from the dig site. It's right in the footprint, really easy to find. And then there's one between Generator 4 and the dig site. And then there's one behind Generator 4, it's behind Juggernaut. Then the fourth soul chest is right in where you open up to get to the church. You open up those rocks and you can go down to the, where the tank is. It's right before that in that footprint. And after you fill all of them, you could probably do it before round 11. Yeah, I usually average on finishing all four by round 11 to 12. You could probably do it on nine though if you're really good at it. And the robots don't come because if the robots come and crush the box or step where it is it starts over you have to get more zombies in there that's a really big issue so you need to have the timing down but anyway once you do have them all filled you can retrieve your one inch punch from either the generator six box or the spawn box it's easier to do it from generator six because it's closer to where you have to put the stone you picked up earlier you go into the church and there's a little holy water thing and you put it in there and then you use one inch punch or you can use the shield or you can use staff melee if you have them built again that's not how I did it but you can do it that way and you have to kill zombies before it turns like a light gray and then you'll hear a quote after it does turn gray or light gray whatever you want to call it you take it and you can't get it muddy if you do get it muddy you can just run back up and press square on the holy water thing and it you don't have to like re-get souls on it and you have to walk it through no mud and I'm gonna show you how to do this You basically walk down the church stairs Walk it through the footprint you came through you have to jump over some of the mud run it through the uh, Left footprint like you're gonna as soon as you come out of the church way you go left run through that footprint keep going straight towards the workshop run all the way down to the workshop to where generator 2 is run into the footprint or the broom under the robot footprint and you put it right on the table where you found it. Step number two is the G-Strike Beacon. This is basically an upgraded monkey bomb. It works more efficiently because the robots shoot down missiles instead of it just exploding. So what you're going to do is run through the tank station. It's going to appear right where you put your stone down and you got to use either one inch punch I think you can use melee, any kind of melee. I don't really know though. I know if you can for the first part, but I don't know if you can in for this. Anyway, you're going to want to run a train through the tank station. So you're going to run them through, hit a couple, run out, run back through, hit a couple, run out. And you got to make sure you just, you can't like get crazy because if you think they're all coming from one way, they're going to come back around. They do that. It's ridiculous. But after you do this for a little bit, you're going to have enough and it's going to pop up and it's going to make a sound. Step three is upgrading the staffs. Now you're probably asking me, you know, why haven't you showed us how to build them? Well, they're not that hard to build, but if I were to explain the whole thing and upgrade, it would this video would be way too long. So I'm just going to describe to you how to get them easily. So for the wind staff, all three parts are in the robots. And as you're filling the boxes and just kind of making your way, you're going to come across a bunch of opportunities just to go into the robots. So you need to go into all three of them, and it's sitting right there, all three parts. 
And then for the fire staff, you have to shoot down a plane that's flying around the excavation site. The next one is you get it off a panzer zombie. That's usually the first thing they drop when you kill the first one on round eight. And then for the last piece, you have to, when you activate generator six, the reward box gives you that piece. And then you can get the record for the fire staff rate in generator six area or somewhere in the church, either on the right next to the holy water or right by the tank. And then the wind one is right around generator five, which where stamina up is. It's either ne ne right next to stamina up or it's right by the other side of generator five. And then the purple record is usually right by generator four and to get the purple parts or the lightning parts, you have to use the tank. The tank, the first time you take it, you're gonna, you're gonna see like a little jump off area and you jump off there and you can see the part you go pick it up you can't get crushed right there I I realized that recently I didn't know you can't get crushed if the robots coming through so watch your shit up there and then there's two other places where they're on the way back so you have to call the tank again or you can just go around twice and you see them pretty easily there's one on the left side right in the excavation site and then if you have stamina up though you can run you can't catch up to the tank so you don't have to take it again and then there's one it's like on the church floor where you can't get to, you get to it, it's on the right, and there's like, you'll see it. It's like a little indent, you can jump off and get the parts. And then for the ice staff, you have to wait till it snows, and when it snows, you have to dig, and you'll find it in the digs, but it only comes up when it snows. And then the blue record is in the tank station somewhere. It's, it's three spawn spots in the tank station, it's really easy to find. So upgrading the staffs is a little bit of a marathon, I guess you could call it. So each staff has a different puzzle down in the crazy place, and they all have their own tunnels. You have to go into a tunnel to get the crystal to build the staff in the staff room, but you can pick up, you can save a trip by, like, going one way and coming out the other way. If you have, like, say I go in the lightning one, okay? I This is the first staff I did. I go went in the lightning one, grab the crystal, come back out, and then I go in another way to do the lightning riddle and then I go back through that same way and I grab the crystal it saves a lot of time so I'm gonna describe each puzzle to you and tell you how to do it I'm gonna put on screen things just to make this go a hell of a lot faster and it's gonna make your life and my life a whole lot easier the first one I'm gonna show you is the lightning staff now the location where you have to go like the tunnel is right next to the stamina up generator and you're gonna go down there, put the gramophone in, you're gonna jump through. And you grab the crystal. And then you're gonna build it, and then we're gonna upgrade it. So you go back to the crazy place, and the riddle is like a piano. And I'm gonna jack this image from Call of Duty Wiki. And I appreciate it that they're letting me use it completely. Like, it, you, whatever. Anyway, so here, this is the simplified version of it. And I'm gonna, there's certain, there's gonna be like a, three number sequences there's three of these and you're gonna have to hit them all you don't have to hit them in the order you can just hit them in any order but you have to hit them three at a time so the first one is 10 1 5 the second one is 5 8 12 and the last one is 6 10 3 now after that you're gonna come back up and there's gonna be these panels around the map that are sparking you have to turn on them with the with the with the action button you're gonna turn them till they stop sparking so you do them in this order too. The first one is across from the stamina up machine. The second one is on the wall behind the stairs of the basement of the church right where the tank is. And then you go upstairs to the left of the mystery box on the church floor. And then near generator four, like the juggernaut generator, it's to the right of the wind tunnel entrance in that footprint. And then, then the next one is on the wall that's on the where you spawn in. And there's those set of stairs to go up to where uh, Quick Revive is. It's right on that wall. It's right between that. And then it's in the tank station towards the, like the back entrance. And the last one is right across from the pathway to where you go to get to the church. Basically, instead of going to the church trenchway, you're just going to turn left and it's going to be right there. That should be your last one. All of these steps require the same thing. When you go down to the staff room where you build them, you have to make the huge discs 
that are above it. You have to make them all the color of the staff that you're upgrading. And by the way, you're gonna know that you did all those spark panels right if uh, it's just like boom, and then you see like a flash of light come down. That means you did it right. And an orb will go into the staff room. Now for the discs, you can, there's four levers, and you have to just keep hitting them until, for example, we're doing the lightning one. So when they all turn purple, and then you can shoot the orb, and it's gonna fly out. And then you go back down to the crazy place and put the staff where you found its crystal. It's going to be big enough for you to put the staff in there. And that whole ending process is the same exact thing. For all of the staffs, you just have to do it different color-wise. You want to do it so you do the fire staff last because this one requires changing the round. And this whole time, you're going to want to have a zombie just running with you until you have to kill zombies for the fire staff and finish its upgrade. The wind staff, and for the wind staff, it's a little different. The puzzle for the wind staff, there's, it's like a bunch of discs, and they have a bunch of symbols on them, and you have to get the symbols right. So, when you go down there, from when you first go, you're gonna just hit them all twice, so they turn twice. This is kind of like the magic routine, I guess. So, and you're gonna, if you see this image here, you're gonna want to have two lines with the triangles on the top, two L's, one dot. And like an upside down F and then another dot. I, I hate describing these because they're not even like real things. You solved the Chango puzzle. How did you know what to do? Before you do the discs again, there are these three furnaces. There's smoke coming out of them. And right, there's one right above the wind tunnel. And you have to shoot the wind staff at it so the smoke goes towards the excavation site. And the next one is right behind Stamina Up. And the last one, you have to run to the church. Then when you go by the tank, you're going to want to go not... When you walk through, you see the tank in the tank room. You're going to go behind the tank to where you got the lightning staff part and you're gonna see another one you have to sh face it or shoot the smoke towards the excavation site and you're gonna hear the same thing you did with the other staff and rinse and repeat now it's all upgrading the staff of ice the staff of ice is really it's probably the easiest one I would say except for killing zombies with the fire one but I mean that's that can get tricky so you're going to go down in the crazy place again, and I'm going to show you this little thing I have. The blue, there's like on the right side of the chamber where the puzzle is, you're going to see like all these, on the ceiling anyway, you're going to see all these symbols. And then there's going to be a symbol with dots on it, and that those dots represent one of those symbols up there. You have to do them how it's represented here, so I'll leave this up for you guys. And you're going to do them all, and then you're going to hear Samantha. She's like, how'd you figure it out? And... Just like every other one. And now we're going to go back up top. And there's three tombstones. And you have to shoot them with the staff of ice. So they freeze. And then shoot them with a normal gun. Like it can't be the ray gun because it won't work. So you have to shoot them until they break. And there's three of them. There's one right in the footprint where you did the box behind Juggernaut. There's one in the footprint that's directly across from the footprint that I just talked about. Where the box was. It's right up it's not in the footprint, it's like right above it, it's right on the, the mound. And then the last one is right behind the tank station by the giant robot hand. Okay, so now that you have that done, the same thing with the other staffs that you already did. Now, here's the important part. You're going to want to have all three of the staffs that you just finished upgrading ready to upgrade in the crazy place by the time that you go grab the fire staff. Basically, you like kill three birds, you kill four birds with one stone pretty much that doesn't make any sense but anyway now we're gonna go back down to the crazy place for the fire staff puzzle where there's this kill zone with these four cauldrons so you're just gonna keep shooting them and you're gonna upgrade the other three if you finish the riddle before you upgrade the other three that's great the ancients thought their riddles would never be solved they were so wrong. And now we're going to upgrade this death fire. We're going to go back to the tank room and there's these torches that all have numbers on them. All those numbers represent up top where the holy water is. There's these symbols. I'm going to put the key I have for you guys. And whatever symbols that match the numbers in the torches down there, you're going to shoot with the fire staff. So many others tried. So many others tried. 
powers failed. A carter is a myth. A myth that After that, go back to the staff room, make sure all your discs are lit up red, and shoot that orb. And now we're going to go back down to the crazy place and kill a bunch of zombies to finish off the staffs that are still charging up. You can grab a staff that's already completed. I usually get the wind staff done first. Once they're all upgraded, we can move on to the next step. That was the longest step in this entire walkthrough. Now it's going to go a lot faster. Step four is staff placement. And this is one of the many steps you're going to have to be waiting for on the robot itself. Every robot has a specific staff that goes inside of them. Except for the fire staff, it goes right where you build the staffs in the staff room. The staff of ice goes in Freya, which is the robot that goes over the church area. The robot patrols the site. It allows nothing to leave. Staff of Wind goes in Odin. That is the center robot, which goes over the excavation site. The robot patrols the site. And the Staff of Lightning goes in Thor, which is the robot that goes over the tank station and the spawn area. Now, if they were going to name two, one of them Odin and Thor, they shouldn't name the other one Loki, because it would have been hilarious. Anyway, this is an extremely simple step, but it requires a lot of waiting. At least we will be safe for a few moments. I'm not safe here. You have to hurry. Only the giants can break the seal. This step is probably the hardest step, and you, there's a lot of waiting again, and you have to have pretty good precision. So this is the one where you have to use the G-Strike beacon to break the seal. Now to break the seal, you have to get in one of the robots, and usually you would have more people to do it with, but it's easier, but you don't. You're by yourself. It sucks for you. Anyway, suck for me too. Whatever. So now all the robots are going to come at once, but you're going to wait for one of the center robots' feet to be open. Once you're inside, you're going to see a little red button, and you have to wait till Maxis counts down to one. And when he hits one, you're going to hit the button so you don't waste any time. Robot Root comes right through this area. The robot patrols the site. It allows nothing to leave. We are about to be ejected! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fire control major. Now, you, again, it's really makes it a lot easier if you have um, a zombie with you and hopefully doesn't get crushed when you go into the robot. But anyway, you're going to come falling out of the robot and as soon as you hit the ground, run to generator 5 and on the outskirts of generator 5, you're going to see like this concrete seal and you're going to throw one of your G-Strike beacons. I threw two for good measure because I missed it a couple times. Souls must be released from the pit. It was said no mortal could enter. This is a very weird step because if you miss just a little bit, it won't count it. Now, I don't really know where precisely you have to. I mean, I've landed right on the damn thing and it hasn't gone for me. But one thing I do know is you need all six generators running for this one. Because I've done it where I haven't had one running and it didn't work. And then I had them all running and then it worked. So I don't really know if it depends on that or just pure luck. After you break the seal, Sam's going to tell you that you can't enter it or no mortal can which is basically hinting to grab your maxis drone now if you're trailing zombies make sure they get kind of away from you just a little bit so he can fly right in there so 
bring Max's right to where you threw the G-Strike beacon, and he's going to go right into the hole that you broke open. And you might want to run away, just like a little bit far away, because about eight of these bitch-ass panzer zombies are going to come at you. And this is a perfect time that you have to have your ray gun, Mark One or Mark II, because it's going to be a complete bitch if you don't have those two things. Because what they love to do is you think you have them all, and then two will like go off and you're like oh that's it and then they surprise you anywhere on the map and you get killed have to me a couple times but if you kill them efficiently and maybe the robot helps you out by smashing him into the ground it's not that hard to kill him with the ray gun it's like couple shots with the ray gun mark two ray gun mark one obviously will take more shots but it's still the same basic idea <laughs> Earth can he be defeated? Alright, this next step is secure the Wingered Beast, and that sounds a little weird, but it's actually really simple. So there's two things for this one that you have to shoot. You gotta shoot down an invisible plane looks just like the one you shot down for the fire staff, and you have to shoot the invisible zombie. Sometimes it comes up like a glowing zombie, but most of the time it comes up as a normal looking zombie, and all you have to kinda pick them out from the horde that you're running or your own zombie is that it's running clockwise around the excavation site so to see these things you need to get zombie blood to get zombie blood really easily is you could just dig one up or you could have the ice staff and you could shoot the three flaming wagons around the outside of the excavation site and you get a free zombie blood i happen to get one during a round i was playing and i hit both targets in the same zombie blood which saved me a lot of time Okay, we're almost there. For this step, you're going to want to try to get your original monkeys back out of the box. Because instead of having two, you get three. And you're going to need, most likely, some of these. Or you can also use the wind staff, which helps with this one. You have to upgrade your punch, your one-inch punch, to iron fists. And the way you do this is go you go in the staff room and you have to hit at least 20 zombies that are glowing. And you don't have to kill them, you just have to hit them. That's the problem because it's not very powerful, so it's not going to kill them. You can overrun really easily. I've died a lot during this step, so I would know. So it helps to have monkey bombs instead of those G-strikes because you have more to throw. And it's better for the final step when you have to kill a bunch of zombies. And once you do get enough, you're going to see the same stone that you put down on the table a couple steps ago and you're gonna pick it up and you're gonna have this wicked awesome iron fist and it's really powerful you're so close please keep going release the souls of the ancients so now this requires a little bit of running back and forth this step we're gonna put all the staffs back so we're going to use one portal with this. I used the wind portal because it was close to the excavation site. You can use the lightning one too. You can use any portal you want to. But this makes it go a lot faster. So what you do is you take the staff that you have, just pick one up, whatever, and you go to the portal, go to the crazy place, put it in its spot, go back through that portal, rinse and repeat until they're all down there. Oh, we're getting there. So this step requires you to 
Stay down in the crazy place and kill zombies until you open up the gateway. But you can't use any of the staffs because they need to be in their place. So you do that. And the easiest way to do this is to run a circle by the ice puzzle because it's a circle. And you can kind of run it slow. Another good thing to have here, like I said before, is stamina up because you can kind of get out of tough situations. And like I said before, monkey bombs. You got three chances. Gets too hot, you can throw one, kill all those zombies. Just keep running your circle. And after you run your circle, you're going to hear the quote. Pop goes a trophy. We're done. Okay, I actually got one more step. The paradox resolution. You're going to need your Maxis drone, and you're going to go to the center of the crazy place and let him go. He's going to go up into the clouds, and then... There's too many of them. Where the fuck are you guys? The paradox must be resolved. At last, I'm to be freed from Agartha. Your reward awaits you, my heroes. You only have to step into the light. Boom. That's a teleporter, and then you can end the game. I'm Kevin Flanks from Productions. I hope you guys enjoy this Easter egg tutorial, walkthrough, guide, whatever you want to call it. I'm finally done with this Easter egg. Fuck everyone who's on the channel with me. Logan Christian, you guys didn't help me for shit. Still love you guys, though. It's all it's all fun and games. Kevin Flanks from Productions. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Check out the cutscene. <laughs>